Nick here with tinywoodstove.com and we're gonna be taking a closer look at our RV and bus through the roof install kit. What's included, what's not, how it all fits together. Let's get started. Okay, let's dig into the RV and bus roof kit starting from the top. We have our, our roof vent. This keeps wind and rain um, out from the inside of your chimney. Uh, this is our new design and it has a shield that goes all the way around and that's to keep driving rain out. Uh, then it also has a, uh, a top cap on it plus a built-in um, spark arrestor on the inside. The roof vent connects to our, our chimney, double wall insulated pipe, and it has uh, insulation on the inside, and this is two inches from combustibles. You use insulated pipe when you're passing through the structure, either the wall or the roof. You, you have to use insulated pipe. You don't use a single wall. And then to step down from the chimney to a single wall or what's known as stove pipe, you use your single to double adapter and that connects to the, uh, the bottom side. And then you use a clamp to cinch that down. Um, each of the joints on the double wall insulated pipe um, for the vent and the single to double adapter clamps to cinch it down together. Next up is our roof support bracket. And this is what secures the chimney to the roof. It, it uh, carries the weight vertically and laterally as well. And this thing has two little legs that bolt onto the side. And this can be mounted on the top of the roof or the underside of the roof. These just bolt onto the side. It goes over the insulated pipe and then uh, cinches down. And to seal up our install, we have our uh, silicone pipe boot, and this goes on the top of the roof. This works from six to 11, and it fits over nice and snug over the top. And then you would just silicone the bottom and then attach this to your roof. And to trim out the install, we have our stainless steel uh, adjustable trim plate. And this is going to go over the inside of the structure flat roof, angled, and then it can adjust to match whatever pitch you might have. Next we have our telescoping uh, stove pipe, and this can expand to fit between sections of pipe so you don't have to cut everything perfectly and try to like finagle it in there. You can just, you know, put it in and then expand it and connect the stove to the stove pipe to then the chimney. Sections of pipe, um, both insulated and single wall, are secured with um, locking bands. Um, the stove pipe, you don't have to have locking bands. You can use heat safe, uh, self-tapping screws. Um, we recommend the locking bands. It matches everything and it gets a, a good tight seal. So that's what's included in the kit. And there's some components that you may need that aren't in the kit and we, we don't want to send you parts you don't need. To get a detailed list of specific parts for your install, I recommend you try out Flu, our, our Flu Parts robot. You can find that at tinywoodstove.com slash F-L-O-O. You enter your, um, your, your space, your stove, a couple of measurements and it'll give you a complete list of parts. Or alternatively, you can contact us at support at tinywoodstove.com and we'd be happy to help. This has been the RV and bus roof install kit video. Thanks for watching.